just now getting over a cold so I'm gonna sound a little hoarse or a little congested but it's okay because I'm gonna get all of this up out of me like I'm working on that so don't be trying to come for me in these comments or in y'all spam pages or in y'all messages because I'm listening always anyways y'all so, tonight, I'm coming at y'all with some gems. So, in tonight's video, I'm going to be telling y'all 16 videos or, you know, 16 movies slash shows I think y'all should watch that's on Netflix. And I decided to make this video because people are always asking, well, any new shows on Netflix I should watch or any shows y'all watch that y'all think I should watch, y'all know? So I'm gonna make a video, I'm making a video on that and I feel like that would be very helpful and I'm pretty sure y'all gonna like some of these titles or I'm pretty sure some of y'all already seen this, these titles. Um, I have some I have some titles for some weird people, for people who like sad shit, people who like scary shit, people who like funny shit, people who like, you know, drama shit. Y'all know scandalous shit. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Just stay tuned and whatever you do, just be cool. Now y'all. Before we get into this though, I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, share, turn on the bell, turn on that bell sis, if you don't got that bell on there, what you doing? Anyway, follow my business pages for lashes, um, y'all, I got another business coming soon, I'm finna be selling snack shorts, take a picture right there. Period. Shop with me. They will be ten dollars. Um, it's very cheap, but oh well, y'all. Let's get into it. Anyways, so the first movie or show that's on my list is Jane the Virgin. It's a show about this girl who is a virgin who accidentally gets artificially inseminated by a dude she doesn't even know basically and yeah so she lives a complicated life a complicated not a complicated life but she lives a complicated love story life um because you know she ended up getting pregnant accidentally while she has a current boyfriend so she ends up catching feelings for the dude who she got pregnant by so that creates a love triangle that's craziness um she has a baby um she's in she she wants to become a writer um she gets through all of this with her mom her grandma her dad they all help her get through this complicated life they all get through it together so in the end it all works out um it's a lot of drama in this show um, i feel like it's very good to watch like if you're pregnant if you like scandalous stuff if you like drama um if you if you're very family oriented like if you like watching other families on tv this is for you okay and this movie got a hundred percent on rotten tomatoes so you know it's good not movie but show <laughs> This show got a hundred percent rating on Rotten Tomatoes, so you know it's a good show. Period. So yeah, y'all, it's really good. I love it. Period. 
Number two, Dynasty. Dynasty? Y'all, if you haven't watched that, what is you doing? What is you doing? Dynasty is about two rich families, the Colbys and the Carringtons. It's about these two rich families who feud over wealth, fortune, their children. They feud over like big, big things, basically. Um, it's a lot of drama, scandalism that goes on in this show. So I think if you're the type of person who loves drama and scandalous type of shows, movies, I think this will be for you. This is a very good show to watch. Um, like I said, they're very wealthy, very rich. Ooh, y'all. They're filthy, stinking rich, y'all. Ooh, y'all. But it's good. It's a good show, y'all. It's a good show. I really think y'all should watch it period and if you haven't watched it and you go decide to watch it tell me how you tell me what you think about it come back to this comment section and tell me what you think or you can dm me period moving on number three case 39 sorry y'all someone text me but case 39 okay y'all so Basically, this movie is about a girl who lives with her mom and dad, um, who's seemingly getting abused, y'all, abused. And then it's this caseworker who works, she's a social worker, basically. Um, she works on different cases with different children, and she happens to be one of the children that she works with. So basically, um, she ends up getting custody of this girl. She ends up taking this girl from her abusive parents basically and she ends up finding out that this girl isn't what she seemed to be but i ain't gonna give y'all too much more information i'm gonna have to let y'all go ahead and watch that okay go ahead and watch that because i ain't saying nothing else i ain't gonna spill nothing and tell me what y'all think about it i always thought this was a good movie i watched it like 20 times i've been watching it since i was like 12 still tuesday I watched that movie. <laughs> it's really good. I kid you not. Anyways, number four, The Trap. Basically, The Trap is a movie about this man who comes home to help save his family's chicken restaurant from going under the ground. And basically, he figures out this new recipe. Y'all, I ain't gonna tell y'all what's in this recipe. But he figures out this new recipe that brings more people to the business, brings more money, and they all be good at the end. But then, not really, because then, like, trouble gonna start coming, so. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was only sick for three days. Thank God for not making them days longer because <laughs> who i would have not been able to survive that but yes y'all next movie number five on my list is roxanne roxanne that movie is on netflix i love that movie i feel like it's a really good movie it's about this girl who lives with her two two or three two sisters and her mom and they're very like poor on the poor side and they live in new york um the girl she raps she's a good rap artist um she competes in like oh y'all this light is too bright because i'm starting to like look at the walls and still see the ring in my eyes y'all it's annoying but basically yes um she competes with different people in rap competitions and then she um she also like steal she's a booster so she goes to the stores and steal for people and sell clothes she tries to like do a little come up to help her mama out because you know they struggling and then she also like she she's 16 by the way so she's 16 and she run across this grown man and then them two start intimately falling in love they have a baby all of that i think y'all should watch it y'all i think y'all should watch it my boyfriend sister put me on to this y'all period go watch it y'all i feel like y'all gonna like it tell me what you think about it sis anyway 
enough of chibba jabber number six is jezebel jezebel basically it's one of those type of movies where it's like only fans you know stuff like that so basically it's it's about this girl who lives with her sister her sister's boyfriend her brother they all live in this small one bedroom apartment so they're on the poor side their mom is like in the hospital then their mom eventually dies um she, her sister is into like you know that only fan stuff so jezebel she follows her sister's lead and the little sister she jezebel she starts getting more popular than her sister and yeah that's i ain't gonna say nothing else y'all just gonna have to watch it okay go ahead and watch it go ahead get out my face number eight oh wait number seven cam cam is another one of them only fan type of movies y'all i love this movie i feel like it's really good um it still leaves me with like a couple of questions but it's still good to watch um it's about this girl who's like into only fans something like that um it's like a website where a bunch of girls they go live and they just do like crazy stuff that the people tell them to and they get tipped a lot of money um they do like crazy shows so basically this goes on until like one day she wakes up and she's locked out of her account so basically a mysterious person that looks just like her stole her information or whatever and you know it's copying her taking out her money i ain't gonna tell y'all no more but y'all gonna have to watch it period number eight someone great someone great is like the best movie for like breakups relationship problems i love that movie y'all i love someone great y'all that is a good ass movie it's about this girl who breaks up who gets in a breakup with her nine-year boyfriend um he breaks up with her um they were toxic they were really toxic so they ended up breaking up and she uses that them emotions she you know she puts them away on the side they basically okay so they basically broke up because she had to move but they also had toxic problems going on so they said why not break up i mean we're not working anyway and she's gonna move to a whole nother city whole nother state at that so yeah she uses her last day with her girls her home girls and she keeps those emotions like inside and you know she like hangs out with her homegirls she spends the last day with them while thinking about him reminiscing all of that having little moments where she cries you know it's and there's parts of the movie where she's trying to get back with him not really but like she's trying to get his attention but it's like y'all just gonna have to watch it i feel like that movie is so damn good and it's like you got Gina Rodriguez in it again. The girl from Jane the Virgin. You know it's going to be good. So go ahead, y'all. Go ahead. Watch it. Number nine. Prom Night. Now that movie, I've been seeing the movie since I was like, probably like 12, 12 years old. But it's about this girl who experienced like a really traumatic experience with this man, this crazy psycho man who was obsessed with her followed her tried to get with her killed everybody just to get to her um and then years later he got locked up but years later he ends up getting out of jail her they have prom for their senior year um some of her friends end up dead because of him and basically he's after her again y'all gonna have to watch it okay for more details number 10 the roommate basically it's about this girl who is roommates with another girl who's obsessed with her it doesn't get no better than that y'all just gonna have to watch it number 11 insatiable basically insatiable is about this girl who was overweight obese fat greedy when she was like in like middle school i think and basically when she gets older she was bullied 
So basically, when she gets older, she go she goes after those bullies, people who ever did her wrong, and like basically whatever problem she goes through, she uses food as her as her weed. You know, you know how people have problems and they just smoke smoke the problem away. She uses food as her problem, her medicine. But yeah, y'all, I feel like that's a good one too. Period. It's a show. Number 12, Pihu. Pihu is about this four-year-old, I think she's four, this four-year-old baby girl who's stuck in the house all alone for 24 hours. I don't know what happened with her mom. I forgot what happened with her dad, but I watched this like a year ago. I was bored as hell. So I ended up watching it. But she, she gets through the day. She gets through the day by herself. And it, it, it eventually works out for her. Number 13, The Impossible, y'all. My boyfriend put me on to this movie, period. It's about this family. They go on a little vacation, and then suddenly a tsunami just takes over that the lap. Everyone gets hurt. People get lost. Some people die. It's just so crazy and sad, y'all. Number 14, Alice in Borderland. Outer Alice in Borderland is a good ass show for for scary people. If you're scary, if you like to watch scary movies or scary shit, Alice in Borderland is a good choice for you. Um, basically, it's about this boy. He has like two friends that that are also boys, and they end up in like another reality where everyone is like participating in this game they're forced to participate in this game where they do like dangerous stuff in order to survive like you have to pass this level of the game in order to survive and basically it's like a process of elimination like people start getting eliminated through the process but y'all it's really good it's based in like asia um and yeah it's really good y'all this has nothing to do with it but i thought the main character was so dangerous fun y'all i thought he was just so fun but we not gonna say too much because i have a boyfriend and he crazy like that he don't even like me to compliment people that are out of my league people that are rich famous he don't like me to compliment them so y'all i ain't gonna say too much more just know he was cute okay y'all so number 15 <clears throat> we have black rose okay so black rose is another one of them younger older relationship type movies and poor movies so basically it's about this girl who lives in africa with her family her mom they live in like on the poor side her mom she makes a living by selling plates because she's a really good cook oh y'all i just i'm getting hungry by thinking about it because i just want to try her food so bad anyway y'all so basically her mom makes a living by selling plates so the daughter delivers the plates for her so basically the daughter she's just out delivering plates like walking around handing plates out to people who's buying and she um i think she either drops her food but she runs across this man and i think he gives her the money for the food that she dropped and then like they instantly have a connection like you know that eye contact they be having in movies where they instantly grasp a connection so they grasp the connection and then it went from there like that she started seeing him they started having sex it was just crazy and i think this girl was like 16. yeah okay so y'all the last movie on my list is the perfection the Perfection is kind of complicated, but it's a good, interesting movie. It's about these two girls. They didn't know each other. I don't think they knew each other, but they end up, like, as they got older, they came together. Um, they both were in, like, the music industry. They both played the, um, what is it called? It's not the violin. It's something, y'all. They played, they both played that, but they were in this little program where like, um, in order to be perfect, 
you have to get everything right or you're gonna get raped basically that's what that was about y'all it was crazy but yes y'all those were my 16 movie titles and show titles um <clears throat> if you really took something from this you're welcome um if you like this video you're welcome um give me a big fat thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new turn on that bell so you never miss another video um if you ever decide to watch any of these titles and you like it tell me what you think about it period um and yeah y'all we out